Hello everybody, my name is Dog to you. Welcome back to Don't Escape Four Days to Survive. And as always, we're joined by Sea Sandwich. Boots out for the bear spiders. <laughs> and we're gonna start the game where we last left off. We were in our house and a helicopter had just crashed into our roof and we had just woken up. So, well, we need to go check on the damages. Let's go see what, what's going on. An extension cord. Sure. Extension cord. Sure. Boxes, ladder, hatch. So we can go up here. Don't slip off and die, okay? It won't even let me run, just to make sure I don't slip off and die. Jeez! Seems the chimney's clogged the sun inside, I can't reach it. Um, guess I'll work on that at a later day. It has crashed into the house, making a big hole in the attic. Alright, let's go see... Holy crap, you're alive! Holy crap, that's a gun! Um... So don't shoot me. Hold it right there. Whoa, easy. Nice landing. <laughs> you have a gun pointed at you. No offense. Now is it the point? Now it now is not the time for sarcasm. Considering the fact it was flying on fumes and half the controls are broken, I'd say I did a good job. Well then, glad you're okay. Sorry for your, sorry for your helicopter. It wasn't really mine. Sorry for crashing it into your house. It's not really mine. <laughs> Hey, think you could lower that gun now? I mean, you no harm. Hope you look harmless, all right. Thanks. My name's David. Catherine. Or just Kate. So I'll just go with Kate. Do you think you could help me with something, David? How could I say no to a pretty lady with a loaded gun in her hand? <laughs> I'm trying to get somewhere. An outpost. A kind of outpost. The one that could help me leave this place, leave this world. Are you sure you didn't hit your head during that crash? They have a spaceship. Ooh. I still have this gun, you know. Wait, you serious about the spaceship? Dead serious. Sigil Plexus, the corporation. They owned a f whole fleet of ships. When things went nasty, they used these ships to evacuate their top researchers and some of the richest people on the planet. I know for a fact there's still one ship left on Earth, and I plan on using it to escape. You can come with me if you want. Wait a minute, that's an awful lot to process. Listen, I can take you there, and you'll see it for yourself. Who are you? A car, the moon, a spaceship, an outpost, yesterday's dream. Who are you? Exactly. Just a girl trying to survive. Okay, but what's with the spaceship, the outpost, and all that stuff? You seem to know a lot. Listen, I'm a person that's going to escape this hole before it goes to hell. With or without you. There's a pickup truck in the barn. Are you trying to impress me or something? Well, you could use it to get to that outpost of yours. I guess we could. The moon. Do you think the moon is going to destroy the Earth? I don't think it. I know it. The moon's orbit has been unstable ev ever since. Even? Or ever. Is that an R and N? It looks like even since the incident. Alright. I've noticed lately that it's been getting bigger every day. Yes, it's going to fall down and wipe everything out. It's going to turn the whole planet into a ball of molten lava. Nothing can survive, no matter how, how deep and tough of a shelter you have. Do you know when? In three or four days. Well, that explains the title! What? I thought it's more like years away. I'm sorry, but that's the main reason we have to get to that spaceship. So, what kind of spaceship is it? Like, a giant arc that can travel between stars, like in the movies? No, nothing like that. It's a small ship, capable of getting to Earth's orbit. Well, that should be enough. But what happens once you reach orbit? There's a space station. You're not making it all up as you go, are you? I'm telling you, there's a space station where everyone went. That's our destination. But don't worry about that for now. First, we have to survive long enough to actually get there. An outpost. 
So, what is this Outpost Fears? It's a small research facility with a spaceship launch platform. Okay, where is it? I don't know. What do you mean? You said you could take me there. Yeah, but it's not that easy. Why? All the helicopter's navigation systems got smashed to bits when it crashed. Ugh. And this outpost doesn't exactly have a bright neon arrow pointing to it. In fact, there it means a hard to locate place and the one chance of finding spaceship is still there. So, what do we need to do? We have to find it, at some point. Let's try to stay alive until we do. I think I could do that. Show me your map. I have a map. Maybe looking at it would give you some clue that an outpost could be? Hmm, no, sorry. However, what? While flying over this area, I saw some places that looked interesting. Here, let me mark them for you. Okay, let's see here. There's a restaurant off to the west. Alright. There was also this house right here. I think someone still lives there. Maybe this information will turn out somewhat useful. Alright. About yesterday's dream. I know this might sound weird, but I had a bad dream yesterday and it came true. A pack of huge spiders has moved through this area, eating everything in its path. Well, the dream almost came true because I died in that dream. In reality, I took it as a warning and prepared myself for the threat. A dream, you say? Yeah, I know, but I'm not making any of that up. That really was some sort of prophetic dream. Save me because I knew what to expect. I don't even believe in stuff like that. I'm not a crazy person. I do believe in dreams. You do? Yes. Does it make it me a crazy person? I don't know, but... I think sometimes dreams can be used to guide us or find a solution otherwise we can't find. Today's dream. So tonight I had another dream. I was still here in this house, and all of a sudden it got very cold. Freezing cold. I think this might happen tonight. I might sound like a lunatic, but I know, trust me. I know I'm right. We're gonna find out ourselves if you're right. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's go then. You should prepare for your prophecy. And what about the outpost? It's out there. We'll keep a lookout for it. Screwdriver. Gate? Yeah? About today, about this place. About this place. So what do you think of our hideout? It's decent. High ground advantages, solid walls, not too many windows. It has a large helicopter shaped hole in the roof though. Your skillful observations amaze me. <laughs> about today. Isn't it chilly? Your dream seems to be filling itself. If that's the case, it's gonna be a surge of extreme cold right after it gets dark. What could have caused it? Well, Earth's climate is a chaotic mess. This sort of thing happens more and more frequently now. It's probably a temporary event. Temperature should be back to normal tomorrow. Hope we get to see that happen. Of course we will. As I said, David, I have plans. Places to visit. Spaceship to grab. A little snowstorm ain't gonna stop me. Alright. Let's get a move on! Kate, you coming with? Hey, she is! Let's go, Kate. We're gonna work together. We're gonna go survive. Can I use this? Um... Do you want to remove the reinforcement from this window? Sure. You know what? We'll remove one of the reinforcements. Besides, the barricade was not salvageable. But hey, I got nails! I'll take a thing of nails with me. You never know what nails might be useful, you know what I mean? Uh, what can I drop off? Plastic wrap? Not gonna need that. I need my fuel. Extension cord? No. Pest control? No. Paper clip? Might need it. House keys? Yes. Small rock? I don't think we're gonna be running into any spiders anytime soon. My gun? We keep my gun. You never know when you might need a gun. And duct tape. Dude, you never know when you need duct tape. Let's be real. Um... Oh shoot, forgot. Lock the doors. Come on, Kate. Let's go. Shoot, I closed the door. Don't don't worry about that, Kate. I'm smart, I swear. Alright, to the truck. Now I hop in my truck and we're driving to the place. I wanna drive over there. Ah, oh, shoot, that's right. I can still only reach here. Um, I hate walking. Kate? Yeah? 
about this place. How do you like the bridge, Kate? It's more like a gangway. If we make a second one like the first, it'll be crossable with a car, I think. Ooh! If we make a second one... Well, I'm glad I got the nails then! <laughs> Holy nuts! Um... The car's gonna save me time overall, right? Right? Probably? Uh, yeah. Alright, yeah. Alright. Well... We made it. Ooh, but now we only have two nails, though. Ooh, 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 you, you. All right, so we now we can go. What do you think? Restaurant, and then hit the house on the way back. Or house first, and then hit the restaurant on the way up. Probably restaurant first. Burger. <laughs> Kate, yeah? What do you think about this place? I saw it from the helicopter and thought it didn't look too bad. Now I know better. You gotta admit, looks solid. With all those missing windows, it doesn't have any advantage of I right now. It's also pretty much completely looted. There might be a thing or two left. Let me know if you find any coffee, okay? <laughs> Alright, I guess let's go inside. Hey! Kid! Go away! I saw this place first! I'm warning you! I know how to fight! Come down. We're not here to hurt you. Yeah, this man over here is pretty harmless. Alright, okay, whatever. I'm not afraid of you. My name is David. This is Kate. What's your name? Cody, now go away or else. Go away or what? I'll beat you up! Oh no. Yeah, so stay away! Please. Your parents. Where are your parents? Nowhere. I'm on my own. So sorry. Don't be, I've always been on my own. I know how to take care of myself. What's behind that door? You seem to be really persistent about opening that door. What's behind it? What do you think, stupid? It's a restaurant, duh. You think there might be some food in there? For sure! Come with us. Let's team up. This weather's gonna get really dangerous at night. You have better chances than us. Do you have any food? Maybe? Then maybe I'll team up with you. If not, I have better chances on my own. Goodbye. Can I come closer? Nope. Looks like I can go around the back. Oh. The flag's rope is stuck. It's held by a metal clamp. I have to release it first. I need something with a round profile that could act as a lever. My pipe! I needed my pipe. Probably. I mean, my pipe is round. Uh, context. You know, the metal pipe we used to break open the window. That one. Not anything else. It's a window. Uh, Kate. Okay. Uh, trash container. It's too heavy. Kate. Ah, help pushing the container. Can you help me push that trash container? David, do you have any clue how stupid your ideas are? See that window over there? The door? I could squeeze through it, but I have to be able to reach it first. You should have started with that. I'll help you for the sheer fun of watching you try to squeeze through that window. Thanks, Kate. Sure, let's see if you can climb it without breaking your leg. Wow, impressive. It's locked. It's blocked by garbage container on the other side. Can of meat! Also, what did I pick up? An empty gas heater. Ooh! If it's gonna get cold, I'm gonna need that, right? Probably. Cupboard? Plates. Cupboard? Nothing. Cupboard? Locked. Paper clip it. Lock is too tiny. I think I need brute force for this one. Hammer! That wouldn't work. Wrench! I can't see how that would work. Gun! <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Screwdriver! I don't think so. How do you want me to brute force it then, chief? Alright. 
a fridge for beverages. It's locked. The glass seems to be hardened. Hammer! Oh. Um. Well, I guess I don't need water, right? I guess water would probably be for something like heat. Freezer? There's no food in here, only some weird tile shaped objects. I wonder what these are. Uh, heat absorb. So that's probably if it was the heat event, I'm guessing. Because I'm gonna guess there's a chance for heat, which is why I'm getting like stuff for like heat. Because water, you would need it for dehydration. Uh, heat absorber tiles would absorb heat, obviously. But I need stuff for- I need stuff to make me hot, not stuff to make me cold! How did you get there? I'm the owner of this restaurant. I'm a wizard. I use the back door. I'm David's twin. Uh... Hmm... I'm a wizard. I can teleport. Really? Absolutely. I don't believe you. Prove it. Teleport over there to the window. Can I'm er, I'm out of mana points. Um, <laughs> did you find any food in there? <laughs> yes, I did. I got you a can of meat. Here, take this. What is that? Food. But uh, how do I open this? So that's how you may take care of yourself. Um, hand it back. I'll open it for you somehow. I'm hungry. Shite. Didn't think that far. To the restroom. All right, out of the restroom. <laughs> Um. Oh, not this again. Hope there aren't any spiders left here. I've seen their corpses around the hideout, and I wouldn't want to meet them face to face, to be honest. Maybe? Is this leftover webs? Leftover or not, they're blocking our way now. Do you think we can do something to get rid of them? They look kind of strong enough to trap an adult man in place. I think we should come back tomorrow. Maybe we could dissolve it somehow? My guess is the spaghetti of webs will dissolve on its own tomorrow. Let's just keep this place in mind and come back later. Alright. Hmm. Kate, yeah? Kate cannot help, help me with the cupboard. Alright. Um, Cody will be back. We'll be back, Cody. I promise. Put that portable heater in there. Alright, let's go check out the ruined house. Hello! Hey! That is a morning man. Oh no. Hey. Please leave. Just leave me alone. I mean you no harm. Yeah, he's pretty much harmless. Kate, please. My name is David. You don't look too good. Can you tell us what happened? I'm Barry. It's about my wife. She... She didn't make it. Oh. Last night she died. Oh my god, why her? It should have been me. It should have been me. She's still there in the house. I don't know what to do. Come on, David. Let's go. This guy's had enough. Wait, Barry. What do you want? Tell me about your wife. She was the most kind and wonderful person I've ever known. She was my entire world and now she's gone. I failed her. I couldn't protect her. It should have been me. Come with us. You better not stay here. The temperature at night is going to get crazy. Come with us. We can help each other. I see no reason to keep going. I might as well stay here and wait for death. Then I can be with my wife again. Your wife would want you to live. I'm sure your wife would want you to live. You should keep memories about her. And you can only do that while you live. Why do you care so much if I live or die? You don't even know me. True. But we all have better chances to survive if we stick together. I, I can't. I can't leave my wife like this. That's all for now. It's locked. And I could pick up... Pick or lever that lock. I need a key. Kate. Got any ideas? About this place. Want me to be honest? Wait, no. Forget I asked. Maybe I can go help? Stop. Don't go near the house. Why? Because it's mine. Leave. If I go to the back. 
I told you, don't go near the house. Sorry. Please, go away. Why don't we just kick his sorry butt? Not exactly my style. Please go away. Ah! Keep him busy. Hey, could you distract our friend here for a moment somehow? Uh, Jesus, Kate! <laughs> could you do it without a gun? Alright. Mr. Boring? <laughs> hey. Alright. A short hose for Pantag. Disconnect the hose from the tank. Alright. We'll work on that later. She has a small locket on her neck. There's a note inside. Barry, I'm sorry if you're reading this. Probably means I didn't make it. Please don't let it be your demise. Remember how... Remember me and live a good life. And when the time comes, I know you make the right decision. Yours, Maggie. Occurring nightmares are often considered to be something more than just a dream. There are several documented cases of a nightmare actually coming true, which suggests they could be treated as sort of warnings. Prophetic dream doesn't have to perfectly come out, come to fruition. More often than not, the dream is a metaphor. A projection of the unconscious mind that has come in contact with information about events that are yet to happen. How is it possible, one may ask? The question remains unanswered. We live in a world ruled by science and domination by technology, yet there are some mystical things lying underneath the veil of reality. They control our lives to a degree much higher than you, dear reader, could ever imagine. Whatever the case may be, remember that dreams are more more than they seem. Just like not understanding physics doesn't make it less real. The fact we don't truly comprehend dreams doesn't render them irrelevant. I'll exit it back. I think I should give him the locket. That seems like the right thing to do, right? Probably. This belongs to your wife. You should look inside and... Where did you get it? Uh, there's a note inside. I thought... Where did you get it? Listen, I... There's a note inside. I think you should read what it says. Did you sneak into my house and touch my wife? Stop it. Did you? Barry, wait. Stop it. So you go through her stuff like a scounger? You're so dead. I'll shoot you. No, wait, Barry, just read the goddamn note. Do it, please, just read the note. My sweet girl. My honey. Why you? I'm sorry for taking that, but I thought you should have it. No, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have never seen my wife's final words. It's her handwriting for sure, but when did she write it? How'd she know? Sometimes people can sense things before they happen, right, David? It's almost like I read a goodbye letter, a letter that you've delivered. Thank you. Your wife deserves proper burial. I, I can't just look at her like this. Lifeless, cold. I'll bury her. What? David, are you serious? We don't have time for- This man has just lost everything. Show him some respect. I'm not gonna ask for your help with this, just don't try and stop me. I'll help. I just hope we don't waste too much time. 
Do you have a shuffleberry? Huh? Yes, yes, I have one right here. There. Thanks. Well, I guess we got to do this. I mean, it's the right thing to do, so. You shovel on soft ground. Do you want to dig a grave for Barry's wife? Yes. I should probably go tell him the burial is ready. Hey. Yes? Alright, never mind. I should find something to cover the body with. Maybe the bed sheet? I've covered the body with the bed sheet. Kate, can you help me move Barry's wife? Yeah, sure. Let's take her outside. I should get Barry to come here before I bury him. Okay, yes? Come on. It's time. Okay. Thank you. She deserved at least that. Of course she did. Come on, Barry. Let's go. Where? We've got a plan, sort of. The first part of this plan is to survive tonight. Alright. I'll do it for her. Alright. Yeah. I lived here with Maggie for almost ten years. Ten years? It's a place like this? Wow. Kate, hey. Used to be a nice place, really. Before it partly collapsed, at least. Maybe it wasn't much even back then. But for us, it was everything. Our little place on Earth. About today. It's getting cold. Indeed. It's a bit chilly. We're gonna need the warmth all we could get. If you intend to keep a fire lit in the fireplace or something like that, make sure you gather reserve fuel. And maybe some extra kindling with those freezing cold winds, you never know. That's good advice, thanks. Hey, hold up, Barry. Better given the will of freeze to death, I'd say it got much better. And that's thanks to you. We didn't do anything. Come on, I know I was a mess. I hate being helpless. And there was, unable to do, to even bury my own dead wife. Admission is the fruit. Is the first step to recovery. Actually, denial wasn't my case. The moon. Have you noticed the moon getting bigger each day? Yes. I reckon our days are numbered. They are indeed, but I'm not giving up that easily. Good for you. So the plan is to find a spaceship and escape. Spaceship. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. But look around, the whole world is crazy. It's Kate's plan, isn't it? Yes. What do you think about it? I'm not sure. It's a long shot, but there's no other hope. You got nothing better to lose, right? Now, Kate. What do you think about Kate? I'm not sure. She seems to be hiding something. You realize I'm literally next to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Our car uses so much fuel. I don't think it's normal. There might be a number of reasons for that. From full injectors to incorrect tire pressure. There also might be something wrong with the engine. Could you take a look? Sure. Not right now, but maybe a bit later. Because that does seem like it could be helpful, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the fuel. I think I want to, yeah. I've disconnected the hose and the propane tank. Hose. Propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Alright, so we got the propane and propane accessories. And a hose. And a broken electrical heater, and some jackets, and a blanket. Yeah, let's go back to the restaurant. Maybe Barry can help us here. Yo, Barry! Barry, think you can help brute force that? 
Nope. About this place. You know, in all those years of living just a bit down the road, I never visited this place. Any particular reason? Maggie. My wife is a pretty great cook. You should have tasted her steak. Or her grilled chicken and pasta. She was... she was... Anyway. I never ate here. But looking at this place up close, I don't think I miss much. So none of the items I had work, and I don't think a shovel's gonna... yeah. Screwdriver? Yeah. Like, you didn't see anything, right? See? That might nope. help me open that. Yeah. I feel really bad for Barry, though. You know, at least, at least, I, I think we do really have to find a way to save Cody, though. Because we need to, but the problem is he will not come with us unless we get this dang food. Open. Have you tried opening the, the screwdriver? Oh my god, so you are a genius, and I'm an idiot. Cool story. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need this bag of charcoal. Yeah, see, remember how I said I'm not gonna need this bag of charcoal? I take it back. If I'm cracked, charcoal can help me start a fire, right? See? Back to the restaurant. Cody! Cody! Codemeister. Coder. Would any of my other tools do better? Oh, that's gonna crush it. About oh, hammer. Oh. Shovel! Lockpick. Key? Shoot it! Shoot the meat! Not really. Alright, screwdriver in. I've opened the can. Can of meat to Cody! Here, take this. What? Is that? Food! Wow, you are a good person after all. I wouldn't say good. Maybe a bit clumsy and soft. Come with us, Cody. You'll be safer. I might have more food. Awesome! So you've been all on your own till now? Pretty much, yes. Well, now it's gonna be different. You should be safer. I'm Barry, by the way. Cody! Those two, David, Kate... They help me get through some sad moments. Oh, they are nice. Yeah, hard to find these day these days. Hey, if you're still sad, do you want some of the canned food? Thanks, kid, but I don't need it. It's all yours. Yum. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Cody joins the party. How old are you, Moon? About Barry, about Kate, about today, about this place. What do you think about this place, Cody? When I saw it from a distance, I thought they'll have hamburgers. I like hamburgers. You don't like... <laughs> You don't look like you've had any, all skin and bones. I didn't find any hamburgers here, obviously. You kinda know the rest. About today. Are you fine, Cody? Yeah. I'm wondering if we could make make snowman. Well, David. We don't have time for that. And it's gonna be really cold. Oh, too bad. I've always wanted to make one. I'm not evil, okay? If we get through it, we'll make a snowman in the morning, okay, kid? Sure. Do you think that's an actual thing I could do? I could make a snowman? Tomorrow, I, I have to try if I make it through this. How old are you? I'm not a kid, okay? I'm 12. Is that so? Alright, I'm 10. So what? I know <laughs> I know how to take care of myself. I'm sure you do. So he's a 10. You notice the moon getting bigger each night? No. Is it? Yes. Why? Because it's coming to down right at us. What? But would that be bad for us? Yes, it is. David, stop scaring him. How bad? We're gonna be just fine, Cody. How do you feel about Barry? I don't know. He seems nice, but sad. He lost his wife, you know. I would give him something to cheer him up. But I don't have anything. 
let's just give him understanding in our company. Will that be enough? I hope so. How do you feel? What do you think about Kate? She's nice. Just that? Simply nice? Nice and pretty. Alright, let's stop it there. <laughs> Later. Kate? Yeah? Hey, I can ask. How do you feel about Barry? Upset about Barry? No, not at all. I know that look. Really? We've known each other for how long? Several hours? Maybe. Still. Fine, that guy's annoying me. I, I know he lost his wife, but it's all he talks about. I'm tired of that. We have more important things to do than listening to a mourning man. That's kinda harsh. I'm harsh. Get used to it. How do you feel about Cody? Eh, poor kid. It's a miracle he survived this long. I'll be like, I'm sure you will. Hey! Barry, how do you feel about Cody? What do you think about Cody? Poor boy, all alone in this world. From what I understand, he's an orphan. It's a miracle he survived this long. Wow, his parents, alone in this messed up world. Life wasn't easy on him. I hope things will change now. You keep that boy safe, David. Alright, squad! Let's roll her out! Okay. I think we should make... Maybe a stop at the roadblock? There might be some I can grab there. Right? Oh? These tire tracks weren't here yesterday. The road ahead is blocked. Maybe someone was going to try a crash site. Possible, I guess. Let's follow the tracks, see where they take us. That's my life motto. An RV. Looks like their trip didn't end well. I wonder what happened. My guess is the car broke down. RVs are not the best suited for off-road travel, you know. They set up camp and then... Spidey's got them. He doesn't have anything of interest. Not much you can do for the poor guy. Are you sure you don't want to bury him? Because we have so much time on our hands. Kate, we buried Barry's wife to help him. So why are they not worth getting their own funeral? Don't be snarky, okay? Of course they're worth it. We just don't have the time. Hear that? Sorry, guys. It's past our grave digging time for today. Whatever, Catherine. <laughs> He's dead. No valuable belongings. A hook. The hook is attached to the RV with big bolts. No more big bolts. I don't think so. You sure you don't think so? I've detached the hook. Now he thinks so. Well, let's see. Uh, do you want to inspect the RV's engine? This takes some time. Wow, thanks, Cody. He's really helping me out. Sure. The engine seems fine, but the suspension is busted. The RV's not going anywhere. I don't think we can do anything to fix it. Also, the internal battery for appliances seems to be working, but I don't know how much it has left. The battery is charged when the engine is running. A door. More water. First aid. There's some stuff in the first aid kit. There was bandage in the first aid kit. There's something more in here. There was a blanket. There's nothing else. Closet. Closet. Oh, jackets? Jackets. That ought to help. Big blanket. Hey. Driver's seat. Something is wrong. Won't start. But the engine is fine. Fuel, perhaps? How about this place? Do you like this RV? It's cool. Can we take it? We could travel the world. I think it's broken. Well, there aren't too many nice things anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> Later. Hey, yes? Isn't this a nice RV? Looks cozy. I could probably repair it if we had a few days, which of course we don't have. Not that it'll be better than a well-fortified house anyway. Hey, Kate, what do you think about this RV? Must have been fun riding through the wastelands of this thing. Well, its end certainly didn't look like fun. Every road ends somewhere, Kate. My road ain't ending in the dust of a wasteland thanks to a broken car. Maybe sometimes it's not where it ends, but rather how it goes? 
Nah, only losers say that. Don't say that. This. Cave. It's seven feet deep. I don't think I really want to jump in there. Okay, then we won't. We'll leave. Um. Back to the car. Hey, car. Uh. I guess we'll go home for now. See what we could do with what we got. You know what I mean? So we got jackets for everyone, right? Yeah. That's your home? It's so cool. It's not my home. I found it deserted. Oh. It's still cool! <laughs> Can we go upstairs? I saw a helicopter sticking out of it. Calm down, Cody. Is this the place you stayed at? Yes. It's big. Looks solid. Despite Kate's best attempts, it still stands. And I think it can provide us with some protection we need. At least till we find out what to do next. I know people lived here. Really? I'll tell you about them if you want. So, how am I gonna get this covered up? Because that's a big hole, right? Like, there's no way that having that, you know, out of my roof and not covered up is gonna be a good idea. It's too small. Oh, maybe I, maybe one of these? Not really. It's too small. I need something bigger. Fudge. Okay. Well, I definitely need to cover up the helicopter, right? Because if I don't cover up the helicopter, that's going to be just real bad news. Right? Probably. Duh. So can I just drop this heater anywhere? Do I just drop it? And then can I gas it up? See to use this propane tank, not up. Uh, I understand. Wait. I kill for a coffee right now. So maybe, cause here's an outlet, right? And this clearly has to be plugged into an outlet. I don't want to plug it in. It's clearly in bad condition. I don't want the electric. So we should find a way to open it and see if it requires any repair. Screwdriver. Um. Oh, that's a lot of time. But we're gonna need to fix it. Also, I should save. So now it is a electrical. So I think we're going to need to be in this room. As weird as that is. And here's why. Because there is no plug here, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking... Here's what I need to do. I think we need to set up in the kitchen for the night. As weird as that is. This is where we need to be. So we set up the empty gas heater. We're gonna have to turn on the oven for heat, if that makes sense. As weird as it is, we're gonna use the oven for heat. We'll put the jackets in here, because we're gonna need those later tonight as well. I'm gonna guess maybe we could put these over the windows and stuff like that, maybe? Nail it down to the window? Don't know what I can use this hook for. Uh... So... We're gonna have to... Yeah, yeah. Let's get our horrible broken barricades down. Because so that's another thing we're going to need to do. And everyone can help out a bit. Alright. And there's one in here. And 
And all right. So we got our nails. We got two nails. Um. Oh wait, I needed my uh, thingy. My thing? This one? Does this thing still have fuel? Alright, um, then here's our plan. So we back out, we fuel her up, we'll start it a bit later. Don't forget to tell me to start it, though. Alright, we'll go to the gas station. Wait, did we grab our pipe? We did, okay. Alright, we'll go over to here, we'll refuel our gas. Because we're going to need gas for the car. We might need gas for the fire. You know what? I should gas up the car before I even go anywhere. Right? Probably. So I could just get another full thing of gas. Because that doesn't take time. And getting more gas also doesn't take time. So yeah, just... Fuel up the car, and then refuel the can now, and it can put the can in the trunk. All right, big brain. All right, cool. All right. So now I want to go to the restaurant. And what is it we wanted? It was back here. It was back here. Yeah. Put lead pipe in there. Holy crap, that works. All right, I'm a genius. Use that. Do that. All right, now I have a flag and a rope. Um, what can I do with a flag and a rope? Ooh, I know what I could do with a rope. I can go down to that cave. You remember that cave? Yeah, I could go down there. If I had my hook, probably. So I could make a grappling hook. I could make, like, you know, like one of those where you, where you, you, you put the end on the one thing and stuff and the, the, do the thing. You know, the one? You know what I mean. I'm not insane. You're insane. Wait. No. This! Board? Ah, firewood. 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 Firewood! We must make fire. The fire. Heat it up. We gotta heat it up. There's already some fuel in the fireplace. Instead of burning everything at once, I should put the fuel in the kindling box with the fireplace save for later. Alright, I will do just that. I bet I can use these papers as fire as well. Ah, yep, there we go. I don't think I'm gonna need this. Can I put that on the fire? Yep, there it is. Uh, can I put gas on the fire? Or will that burn the house down? Also, I need the uh, paint tank. Should do that. Should get that done. Should have that already. Uh, oh yeah, charcoal, propane, that. Run. 
Alright, so we gotta set this up. Alright. So, we short hose. Close gas heater. Alright, so we propane tank. Yeah, that'll... That'll keep a fire going for a while. Hopefully. The only other thing I can think that might be worth my time... ...is going in here and going down in the cave. Go down that. There might be something down here. Burr, it's really cold down here. So yeah, okay, so it's it's cold and heat. Definitely. But that's cold. I don't want cold. We don't want that. It's not what we want. Um So I guess since we're gonna stay at the house now, I guess probably would be a good time to turn this sucker on. Get my gas. Get my bandage. Close the door. Lock the door. Alright, door's locked. Should probably turn on the oven. I've opened the oven. I've also switched it on. It's getting hot already. Good! That's what I want. Uh, so, windows. I'm thinking... Will the restaurant flag cover up the... Chopper? I hope. Shoot. So what am I supposed to do about the big giant helicopter hole? Unless there's something I've missed. I heard a helicopter. I'm excited to see you fly over the house. Yeah, I'm not sure if that place is abandoned or not. Why didn't you land if you're low on fuel? I was trying to touch down this baby since I had flown past the city. It's particularly operative for those bullet holes. It's a long story. I'm missing something, and if I do not get it, it will hurt me. It's one of the- it, these- this is one of those games where if you miss something, it hurts. Like, bad. Here's the worst part. I don't know where this thing that I could have missed is. <sighs> Let's just check the house again. Maybe, maybe I missed something. Doesn't look like it.
You don't think it's in like that locked thing, right? Thing that I need. Oh my god, it probably is. But how do I get it open? Sight, you know, we've acknowledged this fact. force for this one. So what does it mean to use brute force? What what force am I not taking into account here? Kate? No. Cody? No. What? What am I missing? A crowbar! Oh, I've had a crowbar at home. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb! I'm dumb! Big discovery! Big dumb idiot doesn't realize he needs the Krober. So what am I supposed to do with this bandage? Am I supposed to, like, put up a new piece of good bandage? I guess not. And the storage chest it goes. Alright. Uh, let's go close that door. Crowbar. Huzzah! Knife. That's it? You're joking, right? What do I need this knife for? See anything that would help me cover up an entire helicopter. And I'm 90% sure I didn't miss anything in the RV, but just to double check. Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time. Maybe I could have used the pipe to get what's in there, but none of the none of these fit over it, right? Restaurant flag, that didn't fit over it. 
I can cover it from the inside. It's too small, it's too small, it's too small, it's too small. Oh! Dude, there's definitely something I'm missing and it's slowly driving me mad. gonna have to deal. We're gonna save. And we're just gonna try. See if this works. I don't think it will though because of the helicopter hole. Alright. First things first. We need to cover this up. Oh, and close that. Oh my god. Imagine, imagine getting scrud over because you didn't close that. All right. Probably a thermal blanket here, right? That would probably be the smartest move. Can I even nail that down? Covering this up with cloth should be sufficient. There's no need to do anything else with it. Alright. Main reason I'm saying thermal blanket up there is because that's where the coldest air is going to be coming from, right? So that's my idea there. So, then we have two sets of nails, which means we have to sacrifice one. So, if I'm thinking logically, we would want to block off where the coldest air is going to be closest to us. So, blue blanket here. And nail it. And then upstairs. And blue blanket here. I mean, green blanket, sorry. Then nail it. And we can only really drape this here, unless we can duct tape it. Can we duct tape it? Works for me. Duct tape. For when you run out of nails. Um... Find one work. Would it work if I put it on there? Nope. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we just gotta hand out the jackets. Alright. One. Two. Three. Four. And you know what? There's a jacket appropriately colored for everyone. Kate, since you're the redhead, you get this jacket. Barry, since you're wearing the blue jeans. You will get this matching blue jacket. Oh, so he refused to get one until Cody gets one. Alright, Cody, since you wear have a green shirt, take this green coat. Alright, now, Barry, you take this coat. There we go. This coat will be for me. All right, I'll just put that on later. All right, let's light this fire. <laughs> Think. <coughs> I need to unclog that chimney somehow. And I just used my only thing to Oh dear. Maybe I can get my pipe back. Maybe. Did I lock this by the way? Is it stop? Oh no, I just locked it. It was unlocked. Well at least I know I don't have to use the fuel in the fireplace, which means I can just fireplace uh use this on the car. 
Oh, I got four out of twenty minutes. Hey, I got four twenty. Uh, funny. All right, we're going back to the restaurant because I need my pipe. My pipe. 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 Oh no. Oh no. My pipe is stuck. Um. It said something with a long reach, did it not? Mm -hmm. Uh, what's longer than my pipe? Context. Uh, you guys know what I mean. Don't take that out of context, please. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll name this thing instead of, like, getting chilly. Maybe I'll just name it Context it Matters or something like that. Because, honestly, I have said pipe two times out of context and talking about how, oh lord heaven stop all right um short hose uh extension cord Oh dear. Have I just scrubbed myself from the start? I have an idea. Oh, uh, it's gonna take even more time, and I hate the fact that I have to use even more time, but. Oh, but. I think you know what I'm going for. That might be what I need. Back to the house. With the perfect amount of fuel, 69. Alright, now that I have 69 fuel, there is no way that this can possibly go wrong. Except I'm 90% sure this is definitely going to go wrong. But if we just pretend that nothing's going to go wrong, then nothing will go wrong. He's not complaining. This might work. I did. Really? This is what was clogging the chimney? <laughs> oh, gosh dang it. Freaking dead bird. Thank. We're gonna need nine. Yeah, we're gonna kill the cold, see? We're gonna we're gonna murder the cold. Ooh, actually wait. No. I think I do need to be by the fire. Here's why. I have an extension cord, right? Mm -hmm. So I think I might be able to use my extension cord to get me closer to the to the here, if that makes sense. That makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot all about the extension cord. Dude, I almost messed this up even more than I probably already have. But we're just gonna ignore that fact. Alright. Unplug. Extension cord, man. Yes. Oh, that is so correct. That's gotta be correct, right? And portable light. The fireplace. Alright. Make sure both doors are locked. Oh, I think I just unlocked it. Yep, okay, it's locked. Oh my god, imagine. IMAGINE! Hey, Kate. Oh no. This... Alright. 
And one last check, and I did close up the hatch up here, right? Yep, okay. There's no hope of covering up that chopper. So... We're just gonna have to hope and pray that this is enough. And if it isn't, I'm... I might have to work some miracles. Alright, but... Let's let's try it. All right, here we go. So you think you're ready? Wear the coat. It was cold already during the day, but the sun disappeared behind the horizon. The temperature dropped even lower. It got so cold that everything in the area was alive. It had found shelter froze almost instantly. You found shelter in a house, hoping it would save you from the wave of cold death. The front door was closed this week in the waves by two and the initial freeze power. Back doors closed, weak in the waves by two. Window on the ground floor is covered up with a thick blanket. The blanket was nailed to the frame. As a result, 4%. 4%. Flag taped, 6%. Put a the thermal blanket. A large hole in the attic. The holes in port and airflow route stops 6%. Burning, 30%. During the night, a sun strong gust of wind almost put the fire out. Had a lot of spare kindling. Three. Stay down losing the heat. The basket by the fireplace full of burnt. Just kept the fire till dawn. Turned on the oven in the kitchen, hoping it would heat the air around it. Too bad you weren't staying in the other room, making it less effective as a result. Dispersing about 7%. Plugged in electric, 22%. Portable gas heater, 24%. Yeah! Alright! I didn't need to I didn't need to cover the freaking helicopter. I still did it. Pog. Day two, stay cool. It wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. Conditions outside were harsh, but in the hideout, everything was absolutely fine. It got a bit chilly, but you didn't even need to put the coat on. You are able to rest much more comfortably than you would. Plus 5kg permanent carry weight bonus! I mean, we know what happens. I go to this window, something kills me, but let's check the door anyway. Yep. What do you think it's gonna be this time? Is- is- is God himself going to show up and smite me down? What is it? Oh. I- APPARENTLY YES! <laughs> I- I made it- I- I said that God is going to smite me down as a joke! I didn't- I didn't think he actually would! What did I do, Jesus? <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna finish off this text and then we're gonna leave that episode here. And I would like, and I would like, uh, so we're gonna finish off the text and then I'll do my outro. So, you had another bad dream? Yeah, not a very pleasant one. There was a storm, a thunderstorm. Well, the rain was burning like it was acid, and lightning was striking all around. And then, gee, <laughs> and, and then I got smite, smited by. The Lord above. I see, we'll have to prepare for it then. What is it, Cody? You seem excited. I have something important to tell you. It's like super duper important. We have to prepare for tonight, even more than yesterday. Yes, Cody, I know. But you don't know why yet. I don't. I thought, shush, I had a dream. There were like dozens of zombies coming towards the house. They wanted my brain. We have to protect it. I don't want to be eaten. I had these ugly faces and they were slowly walking with me arms in front of them they were like uh, running it or speaking it to be like all like brains cody zombies are not real you just had a bad dream that's all what no your dreams are better than mine i'm not saying they're better so you believe me that zombies are coming after me no one is chasing you cody i hope zombies will think you are tasty david there's something i have to tell you i also had a dream you saw what i saw no i saw a city i know how i know where to find the spaceship david or at least, I know how to look for it. What? Where? A side rail. The corporation that built those ships had a number of outposts and offices across, well, everything, actually. In my dream, I saw one of them at a deserted city in the southwest. It was just an office, but if we get there, I might find the location of the spaceship to the outpost. So, you don't know for certain. David, have I doubted your dreams for one second? I know you trust me on this one. You've got to get there as soon as possible, before we spend any time preparing for what's coming tonight. Anyway... So we will go explore the Sidreal uh, Corporation head uh, building, what it, office, as soon as it reaches tomorrow, and as soon as C actually wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of me surviving the harsh winter cold, and I will see you all 
in the next episode. Alright, see ya! Bye-bye!